which of the following statements are true and which are false in each case give a valid reason for saying so in this question we are given five statements and we have to tell whether they are true or false by associating a valid reason for saying so so let's move ahead with the first statement given to us each radius of a circle is a chord of the circle now we know that this statement is false because only one end of the radius is on the circle whereas a chord must have both the ends on the circle to make things easier I have already drawn a circle with one of the radius OP and two chords AB and CD from this figure you can clearly see that both ends of the chord touches the circle whereas only one end of the radius touches the circle and the other end is touching the center of the circle so we'll go ahead and write the answer as this statement is false because only one end of the radius is on the circle whereas a chord must have a chord must have both ends on the circle both ends on the circle now let us see the second statement the center of a circle bisects each chord of the circle well this statement is also false because we know that only those chords are bisected which pass through the center that is only diameter is bisected by the center whereas all the other chords are not bisected by the center so this statement is also false and we'll go ahead and write the answer as this is also false because only those chords only those chords are bisected which pass through which pass through the center now let us see the third statement circle is a particular case of an ellipse well this statement is true because if you remember the standard equation of an ellipse we have x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equals to 1 now if in a particular case we have b equals to a then this equation will turn into x square upon a square plus y square upon a square equals to 1 which will give us x square plus y square equals to a square taking LCM on the left hand side and shifting the denominator a square on the right hand side we'll get this equation which is nothing but an equation for circle whose center is lying at origin and radius is a so we can say circle is a particular case of an ellipse when b equals to a now let us see the fourth statement given to us if x and y are integers such that x is greater than y then minus x is less than minus y well this statement is true let me tell you how since we are given x is greater than y so we can write x minus y is greater than 0 which can also be rewritten as minus y plus x is greater than 0 and now we can write this plus x as minus of minus x which can also be written as minus y is greater than minus x which simply means minus x is less than minus y so this is what we were required to prove hence we can say it is true now let us see the last statement root 11 is a rational number we know that this statement is false because 11 is a prime number and square root of a prime number is always irrational so we'll write this is a false statement because 11 is a prime number and we know that square root of a prime number is irrational so by this we come to an end of this question let us see the next question